to our house. I've been waiting for you. So today Alex and I are gonna give you a new house tour. I'm so excited that this is happening because this means we're moving to a new house. This sort of has been a tradition now. Every time before we move, we film the house tour because it's so great to have the house tour for our own memories. Then we can look back and see all the homes that we lived in and made memories in. Because it's like we always want to do it before we move, but we never get around to it. But once we know we're moving, like we're moving in a few days, we realize this is the last chance to film it. It's like now or never. So you'll see it nice and beautiful before we have to put everything apart. All right, so I'm gonna start with this beautiful hallway and that's probably one of the reasons why we decided to move here because we fell in love as soon as we walked into here. So look up at the ceiling height. It's just incredible. And I'm not even tall, but I can so appreciate the height of the, of the ceiling and I'm sure Alex can appreciate it even more than me just to see how big I am and how big the ceiling is. Alex, I don't know if you can get it fully, but like it's crazy how high these are. Do you know what the height is? I think it's like four meters. It's like least. four meters. Like it's unheard of. Like it's anyways, it's like a wow effect as soon as you come in into the house. Then um, we have this little boat <laughs> with our pictures. This one our friends took when they were actually both no, this is a picture UJ took when he was visiting and this is a picture some other friends from Toronto took. So we have this bench here, um, kind of <laughs> goes with us wherever we move. And this is a little bench as soon as you come in, you sit down, take a few shoes, we store all the shoes underneath. We still haven't figured out a better way to store shoes, but maybe in the new place we're going to have a more organized area. And then I want to point out one more thing here. I want to point out the floors. The floors are absolutely beautiful. This were always the dream floors for Alex and I. These, these are called herringbone floors. And these were put into this apartment, um, or flat as they call it here, right before we moved into this flat. Um, little background story before I go into the house tour. So Alex and I loved the previous flat we lived in, but then something happened and we had to pretty much move from it. And we had about a month, maybe even less, to find a new apartment. And when we found this flat, even though it wasn't two bedroom, which we were originally looking for, because we're always hosting friends when they come and visit London. I was gonna say Toronto, London. <laughs> so we always host friends when they come and visit London. We were looking for two bedroom, but we couldn't find a perfect two bedroom flat. But we found this flat, and because it was so perfect, we just decided to get it. But we kind of knew that we're not gonna stay here for longer than a year. And it's actually exactly a year mark right now so welcome this is the beautiful living room and I mean again like the space look at the space again we fell in love with the beautiful ceilings with the fact that it was already painted white because Alex and I are obsessed with white paint everywhere we move we paint everything white because it's just a really nice fresh modern paint that Anything you put in the space, it looks very modern. Even if you put some older furniture, some modern furniture, you mix it all up. It's like having a clean canvas that you're working with. So yeah, I just love the paint of this. And I mean, some people will argue that white is not color, but to me, white is the most beautiful color. And then of course, the beautiful balcony doors. The sad part is last year, it was actually not that warm. So we didn't get to use the balcony too much, but it's just like, again, look at the seat, like at the height of these windows. You don't even get that in London anymore. I mean, they just don't build like this anymore. But I so appreciate that they used to. And we can still enjoy it. Like, wow. Anyways, moving on to the furniture. And I guess I'm gonna start with this um, side of the room. Okay, so when we moved, I'll start with that because some of you will be confused because you're like, hey, I watched your other house tour and this looks completely different. You will recognize some of the furniture pieces that we brought from Toronto, but some things are new. For example, when we moved our massive table here, um, we looked at it the next day and we laughed because it, it was just, even though the room is so massive, it just, it was too bulky. It took away too much space. And Alex and I decided that we really want to be more minimalistic. We want to have more space and less stuff and less clutter as well. So that's why you'll see there's so much space. Of course, we could have filled it up with more stuff, but we decided to keep it 
fresh and clean. And I think the room has a bit of an echo because it's so spacious. <laughs> so, all right, so we have here, and this was always the dream in my mind and Alex's mind, but the way furniture works, it has to be in the right space. So when we moved into this flat, it was the combination of the herringbone floors and the older bones, like the walls and the molding on the ceiling that would make this modern furniture absolutely pop and look really, really beautiful. So we decided to sell the other table that we had on eBay, I think that's what we did. And then we got this beautiful marble tulip table. This, if you Google it, you'll find the style of tables. In love with it, just like, oh, love, love, love it. And then it took us a while of time to figure out what chairs to find because it is so delicate and modern. You wanna get some chairs that are not too bulky and don't weigh the table down. And these were absolutely perfect. These are from West Elm. And I'll demonstrate actually. These are not just any chairs. All right, are you ready? No! Okay, wait. <laughs> so these actually are technically not dining table chairs because I think these are more meant for like a desk, but they work at a dining, they have the same ones for a dining room table, they just don't twist around. And we thought it would be more fun to get them for the dining room because let's say if you're having dinner and you wanna move around, it's kinda of cool because you can just move yourself with a chair. Then we we'll always have fresh flowers in the house. Beautiful roses. Again, I won't focus on the older items, but again, I'll, I'll mention, of course, the most beautiful meter that again has been traveling with us probably through like five different houses now. At least four. I'm thinking. Anyways, I can't remember anymore. It's but three, this actually. This is the three. Third this is the third place. And so far, knock on wood, I need to find some wood. I think this is what it survived all the moves. This is my favorite um, selfie mirror from Restoration Hardware. I absolutely love the little details on the side. It's clear, but then it's sort of like vintagey on the sides. It's beautiful. I love this. And then again, mixing highs and lows, you have restoration hardware and then you have IKEA shelf that I've been meaning to spray paint gold, but just haven't had the chance. But I think it still looks really cool black, especially if you have white background, like white walls. It still works really well. So all kinds of books here, um, little accessories. We have Matryoshka right here. They're usually open by the way, but last time <laughs> Mika came over and yeah, closed we it. We have a friend's um, kid who came and he was playing with it and then I just put it all together. We have a plane because we like traveling so it always reminds us of all the good times on the planes <laughs> <laughs> and what the plane allows us to do and see. It's so amazing. Um, we have elephants. A lot of elephants you'll see around the house. And it's funny because we never thought about it consciously, we just like elephants, but <laughs> Recently, we did some research and apparently, and I'll point out a few things, by Feng Shui, it's really good to have elephants in the house. Do you remember why? I have no clue. I so can't nice. remember, but it was something to do with wisdom, or was it the all? I can't remember, but I'll look it up, and I'm sure you guys can Google it as well. It's really good by Feng Shui. Another th lots of elephants. Yeah, there's a lot of things actually, I'll remember now, I'll point it out. This is um, art that Alex decided to buy from his favorite Russian painter. <laughs> What's his name? Kalugin? Uh, yeah, Alexander, Alexander Kalugin. Kalugin. And again, this is something we just... We really love the color palette in the painting. It's sort of really nice pastel colors. You have some blue, purple, and then the horse is running. It's obviously an abstract painting. If you stare at it, you'll see there's a frog. <laughs> there's like all kinds of things that are like sort of coming through the painting that you might not see right away. But we found out recently that running horses in your living room, I think in the living room or <laughs> any room, I can't really remember, but running horses, I believe in the living room, signify lots of success. They bring lots of uh, like wealth and success into your life. Unintentionally, this has been placed here, so wonderful. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, okay, I'm gonna move on to this part of the room. And obviously I'll just show this, I'm just not going to focus too much on these. If you haven't watched our older house tour, I'm going to link both of them down below. I believe we've done two in the past. One was in Toronto, one was in London. So this piece right here, some of you will recognize if you've seen the house tour. This is an antique vintage piece from China. I believe it's like over 100 years old. I absolutely love it. It came with us from Toronto. And we bought it at a store in Toronto, I believe that was called Rustique. I don't know if it's still open or not, but 
I believe it is. It should be. I mean, they have such beautiful pieces in yeah. there. And the painting is new. And then this painting, yes. And Abstract. I absolutely love these frames, by the way. These modern frames are something we had to do custom because we had them in mind. We saw these kind of, um, I don't know what they're called. They're like super modern. You see there's like a really nice skinny border and then it's got a bit of a space here. So we couldn't find anything like that in retail and we had to actually take some pictures of these frames we saw in a restaurant and ask the people who make the frames to create <laughs> something like that. There's a good story about the, the thing as well. What, the painting? Yeah. Okay, so I'll tell you a quick story, Wait. otherwise this, this video will be really <laughs> long. But the cool story about this painting, we were in, um, what yes. was it, Jean? Oh, uh, Saint Paul de Vence. Saint Paul de Vence, which is in south of France. It's this beautiful little village. If you're ever in south of France, make sure to visit it. And it's sort of an artist village. And we were wandering around and I saw this cat, of course I saw a cat, I wanted to pet it. The cat sort of walked into this gallery and we weren't looking to buy any art. I mean, like art by art, real artist is very expensive, it's an investment. So we walk into this art gallery and this really nice painter starts talking to us. I mean, he owns the gallery as well. And he's like, you want to look at some art? You don't need to buy anything, just look at it. So we start talking to him and he had the most amazing story how him and his wife now, she's his wife, he met her in Manhattan like 25 years ago. She was working at the bank or she was an investment banker. I can't remember the exact story, but she was working basically in corporate and he was this painter just painting something on the street of um, New York. And they had a really great conversation and that was it. They didn't exchange numbers. They just sort of had a spark, but I believe she was married if I'm not mistaken. And then years go by, she moves to this village or this little town, um, St. Paul de Vence. Vence yeah. St. Paul de Vence. And by one day, randomly, purely by serendipity, they meet again. And she divorced her husband. So they, you know, respark whatever was sparked 20 years ago when they met in Manhattan and end up staying together, marrying together, and now they're both artists and they have this little beautiful gallery. I'm pretty sure we have the contact. I'll leave their contact down yeah. below. So he's, um, I believe, from Brazil and she's American and they live now in France. So they paint, I, I believe this is his painting, right Alex? Yeah. So he, they both paint. I really liked her art, but Alex really liked his art. So we ended up settling for his. I mean, both of them were beautiful, but we were deciding between the two, so we ended up getting this one. Again, it's very abstract, but it's really cool because it really works nice when you mix it with like older furniture pieces like this one, and then when you have older or even modern setting. I think one of the things that Alex and I have learned is by moving in a lot of spaces, if you're in an older space, you use a lot of modern pieces, furniture or art or frames. And if you're in a new space, for example, a new built condo, then you want to add some vintage pieces. So that adds more character to your space. All right, that was a very long sentence. So we have a beautiful fireplace, although it's not real. We have those candles there. And the beautiful sun here that we got from Toronto years ago. I can't even remember where we got it. But again, all the links that of what I can find from our place, I will make sure to, to link in the info box. So make sure to check that out after you finish watching. All right, so we have this beautiful sectional couch here in the corner. And it took us a while to find something that would fit perfectly in the space. We wanted something modern and sleek. And this fit perfectly. And I have to thank Alex for finding this couch. Not almost perfect. Well, almost. Almost. <laughs> almost. I'll take the almost. <laughs> and I have to thank Alex for finding this because he searched endlessly online <laughs> until he found something that was perfect. We looked in the stores, but just nothing was what we envisioned. It was and a great then, price too. It was awesome. It was a great price. It's a German company. Natural Again, materials. I'll link everything down below. It's really natural fabric. It's really, really good quality and very easy to put together. I, we just did it together, yeah. right? Like it just, we ordered it online and one day it just came in with the other. And then yeah. the pillows are just some older pillows that we had. All right, so and the I think- are Oh wait, <laughs> and the frames. This was unintentional, you know, we put it there on the first day when we moved in because we thought we will hang them, but then we're like, hey, it kind of looks good, you know, it's kind of modern. You just put the frames up and I think it's really cool if you, I mean, this is a radiator that's covered with a really nice paneling, 
But <laughs> if you have shelves at home, that's also a really great idea to just put some kind of frames on the shelves. If there are different sizes that looks even better, you can do something big, small, and then even put some kind of figurines or accessories. I think it looks great. But um, some of them we took ourselves. I'll show you this one. This was taken when we first went to Paris. We were renting an Airbnb. I'm gonna link that vlog down below actually. And um, it was such a beautiful apartment that we stayed in. And actually that's where we got this bug to have white places because <laughs> that flat was completely white. And as soon as we came back to Toronto, because at the time we used to live in Toronto, we decided to repaint everything white because it's just so fresh and clean. So anyways, that was from the window in that Persian flat. And this was taken by my iPhone actually in Florence. And yeah, the other pictures are just from some books. I think that's Mario Testino photography. And these are just some shots from magazines. All right, I think that's all we have in the living room. All right, before I move on, just want to point out one last item that again, I really love because this is reclaimed uh, parquet from like St. Petersburg. And this table is from Restoration Hardware. Um, Alex and I really love, if we can, to find furniture that uses reclaimed wood or some kind of older pieces to make new pieces. And this is a really great example of that because although the parquet is old, obviously, this part, the metal part, is so modern and it fits really great in a space like this one. All right, are you guys ready to see the rest of the flat? Come. Come, come, come. And I walk you to the kitchen. Again, the kitchen is sort of tiny. That was one of the things that I was happy about it because there's windows all around and it's so bright and happy. <laughs> but at the same time, we had to let go of a lot of things when we moved into this apartment um, because it's just smaller than our previous apartment. But that was kind of good. That's why Alex and I love moving every year. <laughs> We're hoping the next, next flat one, I think, I we're think. moving in. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to I think no, I think it's awesome. I think we're good for like at least two years and hopefully maybe even more. But anyways, we purge. So every time we move, we purge. And I'm really excited to be moving again because I know we're going to purge again a lot of things. But it also makes you more conscious and you don't buy as many things. So anyways, um, cute little kitchen. I love that it's white, of course. <laughs> it's white. Everything is super sleek. So this is a really great thing that a lot of kitchens in Europe do. They hide the fridge. I do not want to see the fridge <laughs> anymore. I don't want to see the dishwasher, dishwasher machine. Or this is actually... Oh. A dryer and a washer. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you have it in Europe. This is how it works, guys, in Europe, okay? I know in America mm. you have a laundry room. I used to have a laundry <laughs> room too. But you have it in your kitchen. You have it in your tiny kitchen. <laughs> and it works and it's fine. Um, and it's really hidden. That's what I love about it. So yeah, I mean, it's a cute little kitchen. Um, I'll show you the fridge. There's though. nothing in the fridge though. There's nothing in the fridge because we were away. So we have some pomegranate. No, no. We have some grapefruit. We have a pomegranate that's orange. We have some wakame seaweed, which I absolutely love. I add this well, to we're... soups and salads, but I think it might have expired. Yeah, we were away for three weeks. Yeah, we were away for so long. This obviously it's empty, <laughs> and we're moving, so there's no point to buy anything right now. But yeah, that's the kitchen where I filmed a lot of my what I eat in a day, so I'm sure you guys recognize it. Let's keep moving. Wait, yeah, um, okay, I'll show you this corner before we move on to the rest of the house. And this painting right here, you might recognize the artist. And the artist is actually, um, if you watch my vlogs, you know that Alex and I love watching Million Dollar Listing. That's the show. That's one of the only shows we watch. We don't really watch it on television, but we download it and watch it usually on the plane. But one of the characters, the main character on the show, his name is Frederick Eklund. His husband, Derek, is a painter. And we saw it on the show and we really love this work. It's sort of light and bright and airy and dreamy. And one day Alex said, hey, I ordered Derek's painting. So as you can see, Alex is the, <laughs> the art connoisseur in our house. And I was like, okay, fine, it's cool. Actually, yeah, all the paintings in the house are were chosen by you. <laughs> I'm more into modern prints, or I always say that I'm gonna create my own art, but I'm yet to do that. So anytime we see like really cool art, I'm like, no, 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 we can't buy that. I'll just create it myself. Mm. So one day I will do that, I know. So we have a little, one of my favorite pictures actually that we took in um, Orange Square in Marbella in the south of Spain. And the picture frame is from Zara, I believe. Super cute and gold. 
And then we have this little sort of plate thing. You see, it's a bit of a mess. We kind of just drop everything in here. Alex, we need to organize this. So we got all the keys and some change. It's kind of good because you know sometimes you come into the house and you want to like put it somewhere and if you don't put it in the right spot then you're looking for it. This is the spot and if you create a spot you'll never have to look for your keys. So I'm happy we have the spot and we've been using it and the keys don't go missing most of the time. Alright, then we have a little powder room and um, you might recognize it from my Snapchat video. Alex, come in. We can actually be... Yay, in hello. the same video. Hey baby, the three of us. <laughs> oh, it's so nice and bright in here. So I have my makeup here. Okay, don't judge because I'm moving right now in a few days and it's kind of messy. But I store some products here. I do my makeup here again because this room has really great natural light. Obviously there's a window but it's shot right now. But um, you have your blinds here. Very minimalistic toilet, and then more mirrors on the other side. Um, I love this towel. <laughs> it's a really cool polka dot Japanese towel um, that I really wanted to get because it's super cute. <laughs> and then it's like just minimalistic. We don't have a lot of stuff. Organic soap, a little fake coral, and that's it. <laughs> now we're moving on to the bed. I can't believe it's so long, this, this, this house is. <laughs> I know, this house is long because even though the space is small, there's lots to talk about. Alright, so this bedroom is super cute and I love it again because of the massive window. So as soon as you walk in, I'm just gonna open the blinds here. I don't know if the video will capture how big these oh, sure. windows are. Like, sure. I'm tiny compared to the window. Like, look at, I'm not that tiny, I'm 5'5". Five five. <laughs> And like, look, so all the natural light that comes into the room makes it very bright and even though it's not a big bedroom, it still feels very spacious because of all the light that comes into the room. And if I turn around this way, you will see this beautiful bedroom that has been traveling with us from house to house to house. I know this for sure has traveled five times. Your mom's place, yeah. the last place that we were renting, then the house in Toronto, then the house in London. Yeah, it's gonna be six move now. and. So far it survived pretty well. We have some white bedding. We kind of put the bedding together whenever we really buy sets because it's so hard. If you're into like bedroom sets and you're into more like modern clean bedroom sets, you know it's a bit of a challenge to find something good quality. And for that reason, we just sort of put it all together. So this is separate, I believe from White Company. It's a store here in UK. This is a separate pillow. Like it's really nice to add a you know, sequin touch. Then these pillows are from a different store, then this blanket is from a different store. So West sometimes, Tom. yeah, I think this was was Tom. So sometimes if you can't find something, you look, something you're looking for, it's great to do something what we do. We go on Pinterest, we pin things that we really like, and then we just try to recreate that from the items that we do find in the stores. And then you will have to believe me when I tell you that all my stuff is in this closet, <laughs> okay? You saw my closet before, it was bigger, but I had to downsize and it felt amazing. So again, we're moving, so I haven't really, really organized it too much, but when I move to the new space, I think I'm gonna do it again, like the Marie Kondo style. She's incredible if you haven't read her book, The Magic of Tidying Up, I definitely recommend for you to do that because it just makes you think differently about the way you organize your closet. Again, right now it's not in that order because we've been traveling a lot and because I know we're moving, I kind of let things slide, but in the new place I'll do that. If you want to see a video, let me know. So yeah, I have some stuff like some trench coats here, dresses here. So again, you start from heavy to lighter, but as you can see, it's a bit of a mix at the moment. And then I have my hats up here. So really cool thing. And then I have some shoes down there. But yeah, I will not show you a closet tour right now because yeah. that's a whole separate video. And then we have Alex's slime, which is always beautiful and organized. Not really. You gave me like little notice. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, Alex. All right, so that's that. That's what else books can I tell you? Oh yeah, we have books here. Meditating Buddha reminds me to be calm and peaceful. Tuesdays with Mori. 
wonderful book if you haven't read it make sure to read it it's sort of life-changing actually and then we have alchemist my favorite book of course i have so many copies of this everywhere around the house <laughs> Mimi's favorite book. <laughs> my favorite book can you tell we have an eiffel tower and then we have my little tiger i got this years ago this was before i alex and i started dating and every time i would travel i would take him with me in my luggage it's like a little what do you call it talisman talisman is there is there yeah. such word in english talisman yeah yeah, yeah so it's like it's still here and he sits here on the books of Leyland Dimitris. I need to reframe it <laughs> and, I have, and I need to reframe this too. So this is Alex and I in Paris and Leyland Dimitris. This is a book that Alex and I wrote. Well, it wasn't really a book. It was never meant to be a book, but when Alex and I started dating, we used, we, we were basically long distance dating because I moved back to Azerbaijan for a little bit. And we sent each other emails and then I decided to move back to Canada and when I moved back to Canada We really started dating and that's when Alex gifted this to me on Valentine's Day I didn't know he was doing this. He just compiled all of our emails into a book and it's called A&M's long-distance relationship mm. the conversations Alex mm. is so cute <laughs> oh, Alex you're so something else and then we, I'll picture in the back and it says it's a collection of their conversation ideas beliefs and thoughts during a time period which will always be remembered but guys the craziest part of this when I go through this book is that most of the things we dreamt about like this book is probably eight eight years yeah. at least eight yeah. years old we were broke we were like unemployed and the things we dreamt about in this book most of them like I'd say 80% of them have come true so again, just goes to tell you, it's important to dream and then of course to act on your dreams. And maybe one day we'll publish it, I don't know, but <laughs> for now. All right, moving on, we have this beautiful shelf from S. West Elm. And um, these are my favorite cards. I don't know who the artist is, actually maybe it says here. Hand printed by Sin. So if you're in Toronto, you can get these at Soma Chocolate, which is Alex's favorite chocolate store. But they're so cute. These are the only cards I cannot get myself to throw out because they're the cutest things ever. This one says, I would follow you to the stars and back. So I got this for Alex. And then this one, I think I got somewhere else. This one was from, I don't remember. But it was just an anniversary or I got that one. I got the squirrels for you. Yeah. And then there's a squirrel card again from the Soma Soma chocolate store. And then look who this is. And that's mm. Boo Boo. Hi Boo Boo. <laughs> this was Boo Boo at twelve weeks. She was, she's probably much bigger now. I mean obviously she's How much many weeks bigger. Are you <laughs> Right now I'm 21, almost 22 weeks actually. Pretty crazy. Then we have Seneca here. Oh, again, we have more owls, which again by Feng Shui is supposedly really, really good. Then I have this clear little thing for my jewelry. Mm -hmm. It's not very organized, but it helps with um, finding things really fast. Then more books on the shelf, Master of Love. The Little Prince is a really great book. Check it out. And then of course, bedside tables, which we've had for years. And that's where you keep your five minute journal. That's where we keep the five minute journal. That's a sure way to actually do it in the morning and the evening. Cause I, you know, I have a lot of friends who have the journal, but they're like, I don't do it every day. Cause I can't commit to it. But I know the only way I can commit to it, if I actually do it in the morning and in the evening. And the only way I can do it in the morning and evening, if I have it here to remind me to do it. So we always keep ours here have some fresh tulips and that is really the bedroom then we're gonna move on to oh i'm gonna have to Sorry. put this light on I, I can go i can do it there's more um closet space no. here but it's not a lot and it's a bit of a mess as you can <laughs> see <laughs> alex is like no well this is part of the real life when you get unorganized and when you're moving and then the bathroom. Alex, you want to do this one? Because yeah, you actually sure. didn't do anything. All right. Tell us about the bathroom. All right. This is one of my favorite parts because I'm a very tall fella. I'm about 6'3", 6'2". I guess. I, I think I'm 6'2". Everybody says I'm like 6'5". Um, but this tub, I can actually fit into it. Look at that. It's so, like a cup. Honestly, I always think of this tub as a cup. One of the pleasures of this bathroom was that Mimi and I actually took baths together. It was beautiful. Yeah. It will be remembered. We will get this tub again someday. But it was it was wonderful. It's yeah, a great tub. We could actually fit all of us. And then we have uh, his and hers, <laughs> I guess, sinks. 
Yeah, his and hers. Yeah. Then a little here. There's what, a what lot I like about the flat, is everything is super high quality. But like usually when you rent, they don't give you high quality. These guys went all out. Like that tub is expensive. It's freaking expensive. <laughs> These faucets are like out of control. But yeah, I would never think it's just a freaking yeah. faucet. But the thing is, I guess that's what I want to say is that I really respect when people really put it like they, they do like they're doing for themselves. Exactly. And I really appreciate that. Um, there's a shower that I can actually fit in. <laughs> oh, uh, my feet are wet. Oh. Um, yeah. But Mimi's not a fan of the shower. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm too short. It's like... Really uh, should, Mimi, so by the time the water comes <laughs> down, it's already cold. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's it. That's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. Oh, it's heated floor, so it's awesome. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you know how tall Alex is and look how small he looks. At so, yeah, 6'3 to 6'5-ish, whatever. <coughs> Yeah, this dude. is crazy. Yeah. You look tiny. <laughs> All, right. All right, now you've seen the house, so I'm gonna walk you out. <laughs> Maybe you're not ready to go home, but you know, you're always welcome to come back, except that we're moving, so you'll have to find a new house. And maybe we'll do a new house tour. All right, bye. See you soon.